Hello, fellow Divine Feminines. How are you doing out there? I'm doing well today. My name is Daniela Jumel, for those who may not know me. If you're new here, welcome. If you're old here, welcome. It's nice to see you again. I am doing a DM to DF reading because that's what I typically do, isn't it? So I'm going to use a couple of decks. The Secrets of the Soul deck and probably Divine Masculine Honesty and Realizations. We'll see. And we'll see what this deck has to say. I hope you are doing well today, and I just want to say thank you so very much for everybody who watches and follows and subscribes and comments and does all those wonderful things. It's really nice. It makes me feel good inside, it makes me feel like I'm actually helping you, and that's what I want to do anyway, so thank you. <laughs> it feels good. <laughs> okay, this is an interesting card. Yes, that was me. Hmm. That was you, huh, Mr. Masculine? What did you do? <laughs> the energy is funny right now. It feels like there's kind of quietness, but not necessarily silence either. Um, it feels like there's some kind of watching through social media or just searching online for you in some other way if you don't have social media. I find it so intriguing to imagine a world without social media in it. <laughs> you are lucky you don't have that. Most of us, it's a necessity, unfortunately. And even if they're not finding you uh, on Google or wherever they're searching for you, they have you in their mind and in a file on their phone, probably, of pictures and videos. That's not an uncommon thing these days. Okay, feel. I've never felt for anyone the way that I feel about you, and I never will. I also feel the love that you send me. Thank you very much. I really need it. It helps me to keep going. And, you know, I have a feeling that we as feminines are also kind of feeling that feeling that they're looking for us, feeling their energy, um, and, you know, they're feeling ours, too. And that's what's making them kind of do that, right? So, um, you know, yes, it was them, but it's also us having the, having the feelings, right? <laughs> um, that's why I tend to describe the cards that way, I realize that they're, you know, from a divine masculine kind of perspective or context. But one thing I'm learning more and more as I go here is it has everything to do with us, right? And therefore, what they're going through, we are going through. So if we understand it that way, it's easier to be in these kind of interesting times where we might be quiet with them and they're sorting out things in their own life, you know, that, that they need to sort out in their particular way that they're going to do that. Uh, and we can have, we can have no say, uh, in how they do that. But where we do have a say is in our own life and in our own circumstance and we can choose to do things differently if we want to and the yeah the message I'm getting here is that you're learning to like forgive yourself and acknowledge who you are and sort of 
realize perhaps what perhaps you could have done differently uh, earlier on in all of this and learning to forgive yourself and love yourself back rather than just berate yourself for having done something that you regret or said something that you regret, right? We all do that, we're human beings. We're all gonna say things that we don't mean in the heat of the moment, you know, that's just, that's who we are. And it's one of the huge challenges, of course, that we are all faced with, whether twin flame or not, doesn't matter, is to learn to accept that which you cannot change. And the only way to do that is to, is to forgive it and realize, okay, I was acting from a different place and, you know, we, we're not, we're not all, you know, super insightful all the time. I mean, right? <laughs> and we have to return that love to us that we were trying to deflect by being rude or however we were being in that moment. Um, so instead of being angry at yourself all the time, and this is coming from me, I'm a professional <laughs> at being angry at myself. Uh, and the only, the only way to stop doing that and being that way and being so hostile against yourself because of things that you might have done or said that, you know, now you're realizing I shouldn't have done that. I shouldn't have said that, <sighs> you know, like instead of doing that to yourself, when you come at this thinking, but my person forgives me because they know that I'm better than that. And if they know, then so do I. And it goes both ways, right? Because obviously they've done and said things that didn't necessarily go over all that well with you and hurt your feelings, made you angry, made you sad, all of the above. Um, but you forgive them. You know that you do when they get in touch with you and it is lighthearted and fun and you're not worried about that other thing that happened or things right <laughs> um, when you're not focusing on that because you're in the moment and you're just so happy to be speaking with them um, that's how you know okay yeah I do forgive them because if you didn't then you would still be thinking about those events even though you were talking to them and and not necessarily about whatever happened, but you're, you haven't forgiven when the feelings about that other event keep kind of creeping into the conversation. I know from experience, because that's what used to happen to me all the time in the past. I would, we would talk about something and a memory would come up and then I would inevitably have to go down that mind shaft of feeling bad about it and just, I can't believe this happened this way. And, you know, and it was just this endless, just downhill slope. And I, I, after the conversation happened, I would always stop and go, why did I talk about that? That happened like 25 years ago. Who cares anymore? My Lord, why? And, and it just kept happening. And now I see it's because I was not forgiving myself and I was not able to process the feelings and that's why those feelings just stayed there Ugh. and I couldn't move out of them uh, 
and of course it started to all change when um well when he kind of broke through to me and said you know you have it you have to find a way you have to you have to otherwise you know you're you're going to continue being miserable basically and uh I've talked about that plenty of times, so if you want to go and check it out, you can in other videos. But anyway, um, that's what I've come to understand is it's counterintuitive, but being kind to yourself is so much better. And I mean, that sounds preposterous to say, but we're trained not to, we're trained to be so hard on ourselves about everything. I mean, even from childhood, when you go to school and you're starting to learn how to, I don't know. Well, one thing I remember other people struggling with a lot, early, early in school, was learning how to write. I didn't have that problem and I don't know why. I just kind of knew how to make the shapes and make the letters easier than other people, other kids, you know? Not better or worse or anything, that's just naturally what I was good at. <laughs> and I remember the teachers being so hard on other kids who struggled with that. They didn't give me a bad time because I just kind of understood how to do it, but I'm extremely visual that way. So I was like, oh, well, letter A, a circle with a line on the side of it. You know, like I, because that's just who I am. That's how I operate. But I recognize obviously other people don't operate that way. So they might struggle more. Uh, but that's the way our teachers and elders and everybody kind of socializes into us like be hard on yourself if you're not immediately good at something then you know get yourself together my lord you know like it's it's like that and because we learn that from a very early age right it's a it's really hard to stop doing but it's important to stop doing because it makes life so much harder to be hard on yourself because you're hurting yourself in that process. You have to release the ember because it is burning your hand. That's the only way, right, to not, well, get severely injured, right? <laughs> so let that go because it, it's not helping and it's not making you learn how to handwrite any faster to be mad about not having it immediately make sense to your mind and in your hands, right? Not helpful, so don't do it. Um, so that I, I would say is probably my, you know, bit of advice for the day is, uh, don't be hard on yourself. Um, it's, it's hurting you. And in our context here, it also hurts your divine counterpart when you're so 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 caustic and angry and vitriolic towards yourself because why why you know why because we are one soul in two bodies that's why that's all that it is so when we're hurting ourselves we're hurting them when we're happy and we're living our best lives they can see that and feel that and want to live their best happy life and it starts to fall into place. That, that is how things come together. That's how things change. So think about that going forward through your day. If there's a frustrating moment for any reason whatsoever, just go, okay, I'm upset right now about this. I don't like it, but it is temporary. I don't need to stay upset about this later after the event is over. And it becomes more natural to think that way instead of holding on to it and talking about it 
you know, an hour or two later with, you know, a friend that you meet and being like, I can't believe this happened in the store. It was just the most annoying thing. You know, <laughs> we all do those things, I know, but um, it's important to not dwell in them and not be mad at yourself for doing it. Just, just hop on the wagon of not doing it. When you fall off, you fall off. It's okay. Just get back on. So I will leave us with that. Know that you are loved uh, by me and the community, of course. And when you are loving yourself and living your best life, that is when your divine counterpart is feeling their best. That's why it's so important to feel your best as much as you can. So I will see you in the next video.